Hi, I'm John Holden. And I'm Andrea Ocampo. Welcome to Earth. Fresh water is our planet's most precious natural resource and it's one of the most affected by climate change. Droughts are increasingly destructive. Those events hurt agriculture and directly affect human life. That's why all kinds of industries are looking for ways to conserve water. As the outflow from the Great Lakes to the Atlantic Ocean, the St. Lawrence River belongs to one of the world's great freshwater ecosystems and it forms the economic and cultural heart of this region. The St. Lawrence traverses the Canadian provinces of Quebec and Ontario, creating a natural border with New York. Along the way, this majestic river provides drinking water to four million people. But with today's aging infrastructure, treating water to make it safe to drink and getting that water into homes has become a challenge. It's shocking to hear, but almost three trillion gallons of potable water leak from old, corroded metal and cement pipes in the U.S. every year. Unfortunately, we're in a situation uh, in North America where our infrastructure is falling apart, uh, largely due to corrosion. Um, and uh, various studies done annually by the ASCE, the American Society of Civil Engineers, uh, shows a, a D minus rating for our infrastructure. So we need to put a lot of money into upgrading our systems because they are breaking and falling apart. This plant behind me, Westlake Corporation, produces chlorine from salt water. They also make other products that help municipalities supplying clean drinking water. In simple terms, uh, electrolysis is passing an electric current through a liquid solution uh, to get a chemical reaction. Uh, in our case, that uh, liquid solution is brine, and brine is nothing but salt water. We have water from the river, natural resource. That water feeds the power plant. So the power that we get into our brine is actual hydroelectric power. Uh, that's very important because you are not using any fossil fuels for that uh, chemical reaction. The three products that we get, the chlorine, the caustic soda, and the hydrogen, you have several sustainability components related to that. The caustic soda has a lower carbon content versus any conventional caustic soda, and the hydrogen is a green fuel source. I wanted to see the PVC manufacturing process for myself. So we drove up to Westlake's PVC production facility in Woodbridge, near Toronto, for a look. PVC is created from chlorine, which starts with a chemical process using brine, which is salt and water. These basic ingredients, when added to ethylene, create PVC for an end-use product such as pipe. PVCO uses 40% less raw materials to make an equivalent strength pipe, providing a sustainable solution of a lighter yet stronger pipe for municipal water delivery projects. PVC is a very exciting material because again, it's, it's, it's a material that meets the needs of society today. Uh, it, we want a better world, PVC is part of that solution. And you know what's really interesting? is PVC is also the most cost-effective pipe material available. So again, uh, you're not only getting all of these benefits from it, but it's costing less money. You can get more pipe in the ground and solve these infrastructure problems that we're all facing across North America. For 35 years, Westlake has made products that enhance the lives of people around the world. Plastic wrap that keeps food fresh, medical products like IV bags and tubes, and as we know now, pipes that keep fresh safe drinking water flowing. PVC pipe has the lowest carbon footprint of all piping materials, both from the source, uh, getting the resources, as well as manufacturing and installation. We're the only piping material to have undertaken an environmental product declaration. Now, what did that mean? That's a full disclosure of all the uh, impacts that our material has in the manufacturing, resource extraction, installation, and use phases. When we pour a glass of water from the faucet, we don't often think about how it got into the glass or who made sure it was safe to drink. But that's the beauty of it. It's the commonality of such things that make them so valuable. So in that sense, maybe we should think of a company like Westlake as salt of the earth. Till next time. <laughs>